Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation. Okay, I finally figured out panel number 12. And I'm not going to need assistance now um, for figuring that out. Okay, now you would think on here that it would specify that panel number 12 actually is a liner piece of fabric. But it does not specify there. It actually specifies here. Now, it's okay. It's a little weird that it didn't specify in the instructional area that panel number 12 is actually a liner. Um, but again, it's also kind of weird that you have to put darts in it. And we'll do that. Whatever. It's a liner. But again, you know, like... I tried to speak online to someone about piece number 12 and they were read to me from McCall's um, pattern company. You'll have to excuse me as I, I do tend to fold these. I'm not back to perfect to how it was in the package, but I do tend to fold my pattern. Um, now, I've let my iron cool because I have that right here. Um, I might do a review on the iron another time, but just not right now. Um, as I am helping one of my children through a tough time in his life. But you know what, sweetie? You're going to be grateful that you did what you did, sweetie. You know, I'm not just grateful. You're just going to be glad you did what you did. It's for your best. Um, it's for his best interest. So, okay. We have number three out of the way. What the heck was that anyway? What, yeah, what was number three? I think that was... What, what are you? Contrast, cut, and I don't even know. Anyway. Oh, it's a front band. <laughs> it's a front band. Um, that's okay. Um, I do have that here somewhere, and it doesn't... See, this is what I mean. Like, they're not even really, like, specifying the front band of what. Anyway, so... Now that we know what panel number 12 is, and I've already got a full front band with a collar already on this for the bodice, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I think that's what that was anyway. Um, so that's already on the bodice. I will have to show my YouTube people this. I did not show you this. Um, so I'm kind of like getting the pattern pieces back together before they actually go back in the envelope um what do we need here no i need piece number six okay i have piece number six out and i need piece number five out the rest of it can go back together can go back together so that way we have a much better day yay right okay and like I said, because I have both devices right here in front of me. And you know what that means? We can just go through the day and get most of this done today. And if I don't get it all finished today, which I should. Um, now, like I showed on Instagram earlier, I have two different zippers to put in this. And I think this one might be better. It's going to be hidden. Don't worry about that because, you know, like. That doesn't. Um, so this is actually going to be hidden in the bodice portion and in the front of the uh, skirty. So, and this zipper here, which I got from Sam's Fabrics, is actually way longer than the zipper that I got from one of my favorite places now fabric mart and you can see the huge length distance um 
And the only reason that I'm putting that in the front for me is limited mobility. And when you have a limited mobility issue, of course you want to think about this. So, that'll be the difference. Um, and then I did remember I did cut that modesty um, panel that goes right here. Uh, so, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do with the modesty uh, one is go ahead and take one of my uh, Taylor pencils and mark on that where let's put this zipper aside you know what fabric mark we'll use this on a different project okay um and then of course you know i will iron this before i use it um i didn't do much ironing but i do need to iron with that um so what i will do here i know you can't really see that is basically I will mark this because I'm actually going to use this as interfacing to hold the zipper in place which I think makes a shiitake amount of sense I really do I think it makes a lot of sense if you're going to use that modesty fabric to help with this so um i'm like i said i'm just going to mark this out here i want to make sure you can all see this Ooh, except for on that one may not um i'm going to have to <laughs> this one forward so that because i have it here and I want to make sure that both cameras catch this at the same time. So, we'll try, right? We'll give this a go. Um, so, I know you can't really see it on this one. So, what I'm going to do, I'll just pick this up. What I'm going to do is just make sure that this is down low enough, not all the way up. And why? Because we're trying to keep this as a hidden. And basically, yep, that is up all the way. Mark it here, here, and here. It's going to be basically in the bust anyway. So, um, I know you can't really see that. I gotta figure out where I put my white tailor's chalk. I know it's around here. Oh, I think I may have just found it. Nope, that's my blue one. That's my other blue one. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see. And this one might actually, yeah, you know what's funny is this one actually shows up better. That's hilarious. Look, that actually shows up better while I'm still, oh, you know what? I just found the white one. Um, and it's inside the bag with, with some, um, other threads. So anyway, that is kind of funny. So, now that we have that marked, I did mark that one in the wrong spot. So, let's remark that and then mark where the zipper goes. So, now that that's clearly marked, I'll bring that up to the camera. Clearly marked. Um, there will be no problems literally pinning this down. So... That's literally marked. And you see what I mean here is there's enough length here to hook to the skirt. Um, so that's going to be great. Um, modesty panel is only supposed to come to here anyway. So that's fine with me. 
what I do with anything that I wear, except for this right now, I did take off that tank top, but I am wearing the Playtex 18 hour, which is something like ladies need to start thinking about their garments that go underneath. Um, when I start running out of time for my Instagram, I'll end that one with an outro. I didn't end this morning's with my outro because, you know, I didn't think it was appropriate this morning for Instagram due to customer service from McCall's. This is still my entry for the yellow dress challenge. Don't get me wrong, but um, Fabric Mart has a lot better customer service and um, than McCall's. So, um... We will have a little chit chat about this. Okay. Uh, but I'm not really going to go into it that much. And the only reason I don't want to go into it that much, what just happened to my screen? My screen just went dark on my laptop. Wait. Oh, I see why. Um, and then I just want split screen. That's weird. Okay, now that we're back at the correct screen, <laughs> um, I do want to point out customer service etiquette. And if you can be on social media directing things for people. You're in there chit-chatting, you're in there, you know, giving a thumbs up or, you know, leaving a remark, and it's for your place of work. Well, guess what? You do have access to this because it's on your social media, and you do have access to it. So, yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your excuse. Obviously, you're at work from home and you do have access. So, I don't want to hear that because that's a straight up lie and straight up rude. And I'm being nice about it. Now, if I wanted to be rude about it, I could, but that's just not me. Um, and it's definitely not my demeanor. So, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, because I need to recut. I think these are five. Yeah, these are five. And then I have this strip here, which I have no freaking idea where this came from. But I have extra. Um, so... I have these, which I believe are, yep, that's five. And I need to recut some six, which I'm glad I have enough fabric to do that. And um, then put all this together and booyah, I'm done. So instead of just being on your chit chat and actually need to get that done. So for Instagram, Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And remember, mind your manners, eat your greens, and wash your hands. And everything will be better for you in your day. Okay, we'll keep YouTube going here. Because you guys know that we can do YouTube longer than we can Instagram. And that's pretty darn sad to say and you know what i noticed something this is kind of funny have you noticed <clears throat> the screen quality the screen quality right you know what and this is funny the um this screen lens came off look the lens came off. The lens is not, that's not supposed to come off. Ever. 
But you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm really, like, if I did that and then put it back on, you know, it's going to look funny. Um, although we could do that, but I'll do that after a while. So let me just pop that on there. It's it's stuck on there. It's supposed to be permanently stuck on there. I don't know what happened to that, but you know what? I don't mind. Anyway, back to this <laughs> and the markings, which I'm not mad at. And like I said, you know, I'm going to recut six because... When I went to sew, where is it? Um, and this is the other problem with the pattern is it doesn't really tell you not to sew those two pieces together. You would think you would, but um, whatever. You know what that is now? You know what that is now? It's a stuffed animal leg. That's what I see it as. It's a stuffed animal leg now. Uh, I do make stuffed animals. Uh, what I will not make is a mask. Don't ask me to do that. Um, because if I did do a mask, it's going to be Indigenous American Healing Eagle. And, um, yeah. Uh, no fabric marts trying to help with like specific fabrics, but on a medical standpoint, it's just not medical grade fabric, unless you have something in stock that I'm not aware of, um, that is medical grade. And if you do, let me know, let me know fabric mart, let me know. Now, the only problem is, is having medical grade threading. So let's talk about that for a moment. Um, the only reason I refuse to do these non-medical grade, and Bernadette Banner even said it. Why do you watch Bernadette? Um, we both call it non-medical grade because it's not medical grade. And thank you, Bernadette, for agreeing with that. As much as I don't like being stuck at home, um, I kind of have no choice uh, with my medical problems. It kind of keeps me stuck at home. Um, and what I've been doing is my stretches that my internist, which is my primary, has told me I have to do or lose a lot of, like, being able to walk. I won't be able to walk if I don't do it. Um, so... Um, I need to replace my chair. Sitting in this chair does not help my legs. Sitting in a chair that's super tall doesn't help my spine or my legs. The reason you guys haven't seen me sit over here much on the sofa is because if I sit too low, it's starting to uh, affect me medically. And does it look like it's stopping me? No. Oh. No, absolutely not. People tried to put me on antidepressants, but I'm not a depressed person. You would think, right? You would think that I would want to be depressed. Now, see, that's a whole mindset. That's a mindset thing. I may be physically disabled, but it's a mindset to keep yourself going. Absolutely. Um... And what I am seriously looking forward to this week, yeah, this week, is my Slay Glam Box. Yes, that's, that's another reason why I want to get this done, is I'm expecting my very first Slay Glam Beauty Box. And I want to give a lovely review there's colors in a palette that would go wonderful with this dress. And I would like to do the combination of 
both for everybody. So, you know, sewing, what's real glam, right? Without good clothing. Think about that. And clothing that you can make. Uh, my friend Taser was like, you know, stop trying to learn from YouTube. Are you sure about this, Taser? I teach sewing and painting, and I know that I am not a student of Skillshare, but I have a skill, and I share it. Think of where Skillshare had to start. They had to start somewhere. Maybe they started on YouTube. Like, you know, their founder was like watching YouTube. Like, wait, I have a business idea. Why don't I just use YouTube? Just start before I get this started. I mean, if it was a non-profit, then it would be a, let's see, a 5013C, if you're a non-profit organization. Um, <laughs> one of my friends runs one of those. Um, and, uh, he's a retired military veteran. And he does such a wonderful thing and doesn't even get paid for it. Isn't that lovely? Um, a founder of a 5013C, and he doesn't get paid, but yet he's the owner of the company. That's like beautiful people that do stuff like that. Makes a great difference in the world. So anyway, we're going to get back to sewing, and uh, now that I know what pattern piece number 12 is that's no longer confusing that was confusing for a while trust me it wasn't marked on anything except for that piece of tissue paper and I'm making B I'm not making A I'm not making the one that goes above the knee I'm making the one that goes below the knee um you guys know I'm a tattooed lady. Um, <laughs> and my legs are tattooed. So like I said, I have to get this recut out. I already have a bunch of five. And when I get to sew those together, um, I want to do it correctly, obviously. We all like correct things. Um, and number five is... So hard to find this on here anymore. Um, it is the wait, nope, it might be five that I need to cut out. Yes, or did I like no? I saw the other thing and it was like, hmm, it's all weird. Um, so let me recheck this against this, and that might make some sense here. Okay, now that makes perfect sense. So I'll go ahead and recheck the other thing for it to go on the back armhole of the bodice. I was trying to fit it on the front and apparently it was the back. Flu boots. They happen. Um, <laughs> so we will get that fixed and on there today. Finish up this skirting and it's done. It is done. And I started running out of the old school gray um, thread <laughs> brain fart I might need some more death wish coffee I'd have to go out and buy it so I have this to replace that they're almost equal in color so it's close enough to matchy match um, to finish this off so that's going to be wonderful so that I don't have non-matching threading going on at the yeah, that does make sense to everyone. So, I can knock that out of the way. 
and we get this dress done just like that. Isn't that lovely? That's lovely. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and add in some darting on the stick it on the dress form, which is still wonky. I don't know what's going on with Manny. Maybe she just can't take the weight anymore, and I need to take a lot of things off of her to finish this up. But it's going to get done. Absolutely. Before the 10th. Um, <laughs> and then I will label it for the yellow dress challenge like I have been doing. And um, I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay dressed dressed. Well, yeah, you gotta stay dressed. Blessed. Um, you know, have some water, eat your greens, wash your hands, and I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, because every day that we get up and we're still breathing, is a blessing. See you later. Because I need to get the sewing flowing. <laughs> oh, and I will end up having a review for you soon on my little iron. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. It's a it's an okay iron. That's what I can say about it. <laughs> I've owned better irons. I think that one's more like dorm room size, but it's all right. It worked. It worked. So I'll see you guys later, okay?